mean, I got into medical school thinking I was going to be a neurologist, mostly because I was interested in neuroscience and psychology in high school. And then eventually realized you could make a lot of diagnoses and maybe get really good at imaging. But I felt like I wasn't doing something directly to impact the patient. I wanted to intervene and see a good outcome. I explored a bunch of stuff before I kind of finally settled on ophthalmology. But I'm surprised that an orthopedic surgeon, out of all people, recommended ophthalmology to you. What was his thought process there? I think it was more just lifestyle. That was probably the biggest thing. Is he told me that in orthopedics, he enjoys it, but there's a lot of call, middle of the night, someone has trauma, you have to go in, stuff like that. And the one piece of advice he told me is that, you know, you're right now in this time frame where everything is medicine. And there's going to be some point in your life where you're going to decide that, well, you may have other interests outside of medicine. And if you go into a different field, you may have this opportunity of pursuing your passion. And I'm really, really thrilled that he led me in that direction because even though, I mean, medicine has changed and I think much more medicine are more like employee-based models where basically you've got set hours. When I was going through my training at that time, definitely certain fields would spend in a lot more hours than other fields. So by going into ophthalmology, it gave me the opportunity that, okay, now I have more free time. I can go ahead and explore my traveling and things of that nature. But was it something he sensed in you at the time where he was like, ah, oh, this, this guy, Shamik's not going to be happy. He, he seems like a guy who wants to travel and enjoy life and do other things. Um, you know, it was just, it was interesting. I don't think he was trying to steer me away from orthopedics, but it was more like just a consideration. Maybe he was in a stage where he was getting burned out himself. I mean, this is a guy that may be in his 50s or something like that, and he was an orthopedic guy, and I think he loves it. But I mean, it probably was like, okay, I'm so busy doing all this type of stuff. We are very blessed to not only be physicians, but be ophthalmologists, and beyond that, be refractive surgeons, because there's still plenty of ophthalmologists who, ophthalmology residency call is brutal. Like, yes. It doesn't matter where you are in the country. I mean, call is heavy. Again, because no one really knows anything about the eye. And so if anything happens, even if it's the most trivial pathology or not even pathology, ophthalmology is getting consulted. There's a lot of retina doctors or level one trauma institutions, academic centers where, you know, even once you're past residency, past fellowship, you're still on backup call. You're still doing globe call, trauma call. If you're a cornea specialist, you're taking cornea call. You know, I think we're very fortunate to be refractive surgeons where 99.9% .9 of the time, everything goes great and our patients do well. And we don't really have that part of our lifestyle that we're still kind of having to commit to after hours. Oh, absolutely. And I think there is that degree of satisfaction in the sense that a lot of people work because you need to earn a living and get money and stuff like that. But I truly feel that even if I won the lottery, stuff like that, I still would keep on practicing just because there's such a high level of satisfaction that you achieve because of the great outcomes we're able to deliver. And they just continue to keep improving. I mean, you look at the type of IOLs that we're now having, and I look back to what we had five years ago, 10 years ago, and the amount of progress that's taken place is tremendous. We still have deficiencies that we have to continue to work towards, but I think the levels that we're able to achieve is just amazing what we can give our patients. 